Greetings, this is Greg Bem, one of the SEC librarians, and in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate accessing and using PubMed. From the SEC library homepage, click on the A to Z databases link and you'll be taken to this page. From here, click on P to filter the databases by the letter P and scroll down to PubMed. Note the unlocked icon next to PubMed, indicating that it provides open access and is otherwise available to the public to use. So even if you are not an enrolled student at the college, you still can access and use PubMed. Click on the link to be taken to PubMed in a new tab. This is the screen for PubMed. It was created by the National Library of Medicine, if you have an account with the National Library of Medicine, you can click Login. Underneath, you can use the basic search bar. Click on Advanced to be taken to the Advanced Search screen. And beneath that, you'll find a definition of PubMed. You'll also find links to helpful resources, including learning about PubMed, the database, more information on how to search in advanced ways, and beyond. You will also get some really nice information at the very bottom of the screen, including trending articles and the latest literature. Let's search in PubMed for the word cancer. When I type in cancer, it's going to provide a variety of autocomplete options. I am not going to select any of these, but instead just click on the green search bar. Now we are in the search results. PubMed has a very minimal interface, very easy to use. You can see that you can go back to the advanced search screen by clicking on the advanced search link. If you wanted to create an alert for this search so that you could get new publications and research and notifications on those things, you could do so and also create an RSS alert, which is similar. There's also the way to save, email, and send this search to yourself or other people. You can sort by best match and beyond, and then there are even multiple ways to change the display. Note that there are 4 million plus results for the word cancer. It is a very broad search. On the left are the filters. Not going to review all of them, but note that there is a very nice visual publication date here. The text availability is very helpful. I recommend keeping it on full text and free full text. When you select a new filter, it automatically updates. You also can filter by article type and so on. In the middle of the screen are all of the search results. Each search result includes the title of the article, the authors, location information, if the article is free, and a snippet from the article or abstract. Let's click on the link for the first article listed. And that takes us to this page, which is the article or record page. Note that much of the database information provided earlier on the article and publication is listed here as well. We have all of the things that we saw, including the title, the publication information, the authors. We also have the DOI, and we have the abstract and keywords. And when we start scrolling down, we'll see figures and similar articles and cited by, which is a nice feature tells you which articles have referenced this one, and the references that this article uses, and so on. Now, because this database provides access to a wide variety of publishers and published content, you will need to go outside of this database to read most of these works. The full text links are listed on the right-hand side. Whenever you see PubMed Central or free full text, I highly recommend clicking on that option for any others. Clicking on that will open up the full text in the PubMed Central interface, which is essentially 
where a lot of these other articles are being housed. And the you can read this article directly in the browser here, or you could uh, download the article in a PDF format. Just look for the word PDF as seen here on the right-hand side of the screen. PubMed Central has a variety of tools for manipulating and um, managing your sources and research. We're going to stick with PubMed here and note that there is a citation action button and you can change the format. AMA, APA, and MLA are listed here. You can add to a collection, which is essentially saving to your local account and so on. That concludes the PubMed basic overview demonstration. Hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, reach out to the SCC librarians. We'd be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.